right, so last time we created a submarine and we did, um, we had some parts of it maybe painted, some parts of it not. You can add gold and silver to it. We're not really washing our brush today, so you're going to, I would do the gold first actually, and then the silver. So if I want to put gold over something to give it kind of a shine. I would do that. The gold shows up better on things. Like yellow. You can see that if I do it on that, it kind of shows up. And then I'm going to do silver for the body. And actually, I think I have to go back and do some gold for the windows. The silver is a little thicker, so if you would like to get it thinner, just try to spread it out a little more. Or like I just said, I kind of rubbed it. So I could do that. And it's okay if you get outside the lines because we're gonna cut this thing out. Right, shiny submarine. Remember, we're keeping this white. We're gonna cut it out next time. If your name is not already on this, you should write it. You can write it on the outside in the front. And maybe your teacher, since we don't need this outside part. All right, the next part is going to be the ocean. So you have blues and blacks. Go ahead and put our name on the back and our teacher. And we want it to um, fade from blue to dark really fast. You're going to get this on your desk. I will give you wipes at the end. Um, you have two kinds of blue, so if you want to mix them, you can. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and mix them. Why not? And I'm going to paint a stripe of just normal blue on top. Now, to make it darker, I'm going to add some black. So I'm going to touch my black pile. I'm going to mix it in. See how it gets darker? Get a little more, mix it in. Get a little more, mix it in. And it should start getting pretty dark pretty quickly. This way it kind of looks like the top of the marine where the sunlight actually shows and then the rest of it should be pretty much a deep deep navy or almost black. When you're done with this, I'm going to come around and get, or I may have you come up depending, um, get the brushes 
and they will go into a specific germ jail. And then you will take out your sketchbook and you will go on to my canvas page and you will find where you can find a how to draw of your sea creature. If you already have your sea creature, that's great. Um, but we will talk about that. You need to draw in your sketchbook, the size of your sketchbook page. So that way when you copy it onto your transparency, it will be big enough in this composition. Um, but when you're waiting, you raise your hand, I'll come and get this in your submarine and put it on the drying rack. And then in your sketchbook, you're gonna go back go on to, and well we're gonna clean up first and then you're going to go on to my canvas page and start drawing your marine life animal 